and Sarah are going to draw a tiki hut. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. We hope you're going to follow along because art is always better with friends. Friends like you. For this lesson, you need a marker or something to draw with and some paper and something to color with. Yeah, you ready to start? Yes. Let's first draw the island that our tiki hut is on. We're going to draw a curve at the bottom of our paper, up and then down. Then let's draw the little stilts or the stand that our hut is on in case the tide comes in. Well, I'm going to draw it a little higher. And then we can draw one on the right side. And then let's draw the floor. We're going to draw another line that comes across, a horizontal line, and we could draw that longer on each side. Next, let's add another line for the thickness on the little stand, the structure that it's on. We could even add, oh, let's draw a ladder. Let's draw two lines right in the middle. And then we could draw the steps going across. We've got two vertical lines for the side and then horizontal lines for the ladder. Let's make the floor thicker. I'm going to draw two lines, short lines on each side. And then we could draw another line horizontal line going across. Now let's draw our hut. We're going to draw a diagonal line coming up on each side, but it's going further away towards the top. Now let's draw the roof. I'm going to draw a zigzag line that comes over from the left side and we can draw little spikes and big spikes going across because the roof is made out of hay straw. or straw, yeah. Looks like he has a hairdo. <laughs> yeah. Spiky hairdo. <laughs> now let's draw the door. I'm going to draw two lines coming up in the middle. And then we can draw a horizontal line across the top. Well, let's make the door frame a little wider. I'm going to draw another line coming up on the side and then connect at the top. We could do the same thing on the right side. Oh, well, let's make the top of the door frame thicker too. We could also add windows. Let's draw an oval shaped window. And we could also make the window frame thicker too. Let's add another oval window on the left side. So I'm going to draw two ovals, one's bigger for the frame. Now let's finish our roof. I'm going to draw a diagonal line coming up on each side and it comes closer towards the top. Then let's draw another zigzag line connecting the top of those two lines together. And we can finish the top of our roof by drawing an upside down V. Looks like a tree. <laughs> it kind of does, like a Christmas tree. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we did it, Adley. We finished drawing our tiki hut. It looks really cool, except we're not completely done. We still need to color it. Yeah, this part we're going to fast forward, but at the end you can pause the video and match the same coloring or you could color your drawings any way you want. You could also add extra details. Oh yeah, like a palm tree or maybe even seashells and even a crab. Or someone surfing. Oh, uh, that would be really cool. All right, let's fast forward. Yeah. We did it! We finished coloring our tiki hut. I especially love all the details. Yeah, me too. We added seashells. I love this surfboard right there. And you added another one too. My favorite is crab. Uh, mine is too, but your crab. <laughs> and then we also added tiki torches and also a big, huge palm tree. You could add more things. <laughs>
Oh yeah, like the sky. With seagulls. Oh, that would be really cool. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your tiki hat. We do. We hope you had a lot of fun, and we hope you have fun adding more things to your drawing. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye! Bye -bye.